Good day everyone. So now let's have science instruction. Ito po yung bagong uh, topic po doon sa new uh, enhanced new TOS po for science major. So science instruction, isang part po doon is yung research, all about research po. Yung part A po doon is about all the uh, teaching and teaching methods and strategies. So uh, meron naman kayong profit dyan. So just review uh, professional education subjects, especially with the teaching methods and sa ano po uh, technology integration. So now focus na lang tayo doon sa research po. So basic in investigative research kung ano mga things and topics na kaakibat doon or pwede nating i-associate uh, doon. Okay? So uh, I have 103 uh, questions here for you to utilize para at least meron kayong bala doon sa pagsagot ng mga questions regarding research at saka sa science instruction na main competency. So, let's start with number one. The purpose of research presents a picture of the specific of the details of a situation, social setting, or relationship. Ano po daw ang purpose if si research po nagpresent lang siya ng picture of the specific of the details of a situation, any social setting, or relationship? So, here we are just observing everything. Kasi meron namang picture dito at, at saka situation. So, we are observing. Now, if we are observing or when we are observing, we are describing what are what are the things that is happening on that situation or that event. So, therefore, anong purpose dito or ano ang research dito is yung letter B po. Descriptive research. Let's have number two. Educational qualifications of teachers affect their socioeconomic status. Because the higher the educational qualification, the higher the salary will be. Here, educational qualification is what? Okay, from the options po, ang inhanap po natin is ano pong classing variable si educational qualifications. Now, from the question, si educational qualifications daw dito is makaka-apekto po siya sa socioeconomic status. Kasi naman, uh, if we... Uh, see to it or if we look at it the higher po the educational educational qualification of a certain teacher mas mataas po yung salary niya therefore anong variable si educational qualification dito ang variable po niya dito is siya po si independent variable okay educational qualification here is an independent variable number 3 the characteristics of good research that any conclusion drawn is based up on hard evidence gathered from information collected from real life observation or experience. So, anong tawag sa isang characteristics of a good research po ito? Okay? So, meron tayong key term. Key term po natin is hard evidence that is gathered from any information na na-collect natin from real life experience or observation. Now, from the options, here po, we are just talking about yung mga evidences that are empirical po. Okay, empirical. Meaning to say, all the data that, is been, that has been gathered is uh, based upon such evidences na pwede natin gamitin doon sa pag-conclude natin for every hypothesis na pwede natin gawin sa kanya. Okay? So, empirical po ang sagot po dito. Number four. A type of applied research that is a discipline process of inquiry conducted by and for the taking the action. Okay, anong type of applied research po daw ito? Okay, key term po natin is taking the action. Pang, from taking the action, ang sagot po natin is action research. Okay, action research. Number five. The third type of research aims to explore and describe. Okay, anong tawag sa research po ito na nag-explore at saka nag-describe? From which we can have two sets of objectives here to explore and to describe, meaning to say we have a mixed method po. Okay, exploration at saka description. Mixed method po. Six. The quantitative research is concerned with cause and effect relationship. So ano po dang research ang ang ginagamit ginagamitan po ng cause and effect relationship. So cause and effect relationship we have none other than experimental design. Okay? Hindi naman non-experimental, hindi din correlation, wala tayong kinorelate dito, hindi naman survey kasi nag-gather lang tayo ng data dyan. So, cause and effect po, experimental. Seven. This type of qualitative research describes experiences as they live. Okay? This type of qualitative research 
describes experiences as they live. So we are talking about experiences. Okay, experiences here talks about phenomenons or events or situations. So anong sagot po natin dito? Letter B po, phenomenology. Okay, phenomenology, experiences. Eight, an abstract from, a, ano, an abstract form, blank, or idea often conveyed on a single word which serves as a springboard or building blocks of theory. So anong abstract po ito? Ang abstract po natin, ang tinatawag natin dito is yung concept po natin. Yan po yung idea na kinoconvey natin from a single word na doon natin binibase or yun yung foundation ng ating research. Especially doon sa statement of the problem natin. So yung main topic talaga ng ikokonduct mo na research. Number nine. A method of acquiring knowledge based on the scientific method of inquiry to enrich the system of objective knowledge in the field of natural and social sciences. So, anong method daw ito? Okay, acquiring knowledge meaning to say we are researching. So, anong sagot? Letter B po, research. Number 10. The research considers the protection of research participants by obtaining approval. Okay, we are talking about how to begin with the research para uh, may consent tayo doon sa people po or doon sa mga constituents na ginagadera natin, ginagadera natin ng data. So, anong ipinipresent natin sa kanila is yung informed consent. Letter B po, informed consent. 11. Since a study involves, a pe involves people, special care is taken into consideration to ensure that respondents are treated ethically in all aspects. So, anong consideration ito po? Walang iba, meron namang key term dito, ethically, ang asagot po dito is letter B, ethical consideration. Number 12, a research process that uses more than one source of data to strengthen the validity of research by telling a more comprehensive story of the things to be examined. Okay, key term, more than one source of data, tapos merong more comprehensive story. So what are we gonna do? We are uh, doing or we do triangulation. Okay, triangulation po kapag ang hinahanap po natin or ginagamitan natin ng more than one source of data para maging valid siya by the usage by the usage of or yung method of making things more comprehensive. So triangulation po ang ginagamitan natin na method po doon. Number, the purpose of research is to formulate more precise questions that future research can answer. Okay, ano po ang purpose dito? So we are making things uh, more comprehensive in order for that we can make or create or generate a formulation of new questions para to uh, for further researchers to do or to conduct. So, here we are doing more exploration. So, anong sagot natin? Exploratory. Okay? Exploratory. Number 15. Treatment of time is another dimension in research. Researchers capture features of people or other unit at more than time. So, anong treatment po ito? So, we are talking about si researcher po daw, nag-conduct po siya ng research of mga people po at more than time. So, malaki ang period of time or time span po nito. Pag malaki po yung time span, ang isasagot natin or anong research po yan? Longitudinal. Okay? Letter B, longitudinal. Number 16. One important goal in conducting research is to what? So, ano ang isang pinaka- one of the important goals po para makakonduct tayo ng research? Of course, we are providing or we are producing evidence-based practice. Okay, evidence-based practice. 17. The first step in the research process begins, begins with generating research ideas for research problems and sentences. So, ano ginagawa na natin dito sa first step? Siyempre, we are establishing problems and sentences from the question itself, di ba? Number 18. Okay, let's have number 19. The first step in research is identifying a topic. Conceptualizing a research topic would include what? Siyempre, hinahanap na dito is yung basis natin or your foundation. Meaning to say, we are finding a focus. Okay? We are finding a focus on which we identify kung ano pa ang mga possible topics na pwede nating i-conduct ng research. Number 20. A statement that makes a specific prediction between one to two variables. Kung anong statement dito, meron tayong term na prediction. Pag-prediction po, yan po yung hypothesis natin. Okay, hypothesis. Number 21. One important basic question ask about the research title. So, anong isa sa pinaka, one of the important basic question kapag 
yung panel mo is nag uh, nagtatanong doon sa research title mo. Syempre, pag ikaw yung panel or ikaw yung research advisor, yung itatanong mo po is does the title describe what the study is all about? Meaning to say it must be yung title ng research nila is that it must be uh, pinpointed doon kung ano ang need talaga or ano ang kinokonduct nila sa study. Dapat eksakto punto po. Number 22. An introduction answers question about the problem. One of this is what? Okay, an introduction answers questions about the problem. So, ano po ang isa sa kanila dito? Of course, the answer po is letter B. Why is it a problem? Yan po yung pinaka uh, first po na itatanong natin as uh, research advisors kung bakit po ba, bakit yung, bakit nila pinili pinili yung topic na yon bakit bakit feeling uh, bakit sa kanila isang problema po okay dapat we need to uh, uh, make them think kung problema ba talaga ito or is it researchable or is it very likely na pwede nilang uh, magiging topic doon sa research nila number 23 the problem statement is what so ano daw ang problem statement okay from the options isa lang po yung mataas yung sagot so ang sagot mo natin is hindi naman background of the study, hindi naman description, hindi naman analysis. So, it is the verbalization and articulation as well as the analysis of the question in which the researcher wants the research to answer. Okay, yan po yung problem statement. That, that's what the researchers uh, would like to answer. Number 24. Last two. The purpose of a background of the study is to what? So, ano purpose doon sa background of the study? Diba? Yung introduction po natin sa chapter 1. Siyempre, it will help you to prove the relevance of your research question and to further develop the thesis. Meaning to say, siya po yung nag-present po sa idea on which will end po, ang end point po is yung statement of the problem. Number 25. A hypothesis is not the research answer. Siyempre, but rather than, so si hypothesis po daw, siya po yung proposal to be tested and to be evaluated. Okay, de ba? Yan po yung final conclusion natin to test if we reject or to accept si hypothesis. Okay, tapos na tayo sa set 1. Now move on tayo sa next blessing po, yung set 2. See you po sa next video.